Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, smile too! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let me, let me show you something cool. Let me show you something cool. I put the car, or I put the key in. Key in. Boom. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright boys, battery is shot. <laughs> I need to get a new battery. I had my dad come over and start it for me, so. Will not be turning off the car for a little bit. Uh, well, it is what it is though. I mean, at least it wasn't anything bad or anything. It wasn't like the alternator or some shit. Just a simple battery issue, right? Simple hundred some dollar replacement. Not too bad, all right? It could be a lot worse, so. I'm grateful. Yeah, I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna go eat. I'm hungry, so. What a what a start to the day. Well, to be fair, if I'm honest with you guys, uh, I wish I had, like, some footage of me starting the car, but, like, like, in the past month and stuff. But in the past month, it's been kind of, like, iffy. Last month, it was, like, it's... It kind of started a little bit, and then it kept getting worse and worse. And up until last night, where, like, it almost didn't start, right? I thought, oh, well, battery, right? And then this morning, you guys saw what happened. It just didn't start at all. So there was a problem, but there's a silver lining, right? It's nothing bad. It's just a dead battery. And especially since the weather's getting cold too, it makes a lot of sense. Besides that, how was your guys' morning? All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I, uh, I'm playing Chaperone right now. I can't lie. I used to like not care about Chaperone at all. But then like a couple days ago, I was like, you know what, let's give, let's give good luck, babe, like just a fully, just a full experience, just a full listen. And I'm like, well, here I am listening to it <laughs> on repeat right now, but either way. Point is, I'm not going to be showing you guys much of today's leg day. I can't really show you much because I'm wearing sweatpants, but I will show you real quick. Hold on. Yeah, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, all right? It was a great lift, that's all I'm gonna say. That sounds so wrong, bro. No, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear, I'm the diddler. Hey everyone, the idea is we're gonna be watching Smile 2, but with a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna diddle you. So I watched uh, the original Smile a couple days ago. Not too shabby, but um, this one I think for a bit of a, more of a fun experience since this is like a movie theater and I watched it at a, uh, where did I watch it? I watched it out of, oh. I watched it in my bedroom, right? This time we're gonna be at the movie theater, so I think we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna spice it up. That's exactly why. So, uh, how, how was the, how, how was the shot? Good. Take a shot? All right. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. You should have, you should have bought the tequila too. Then I would have started diddling the monster. Oh, okay. That's yes. the plan. My man, my man, my man. Oh my god! Take it time, hey! Take the light, hey! Turn that face! Wait, wait, wait! Let's go, smile too! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, a little movie review after this. Yes, we're gonna do a smile too movie review after this. Alright, uh, wish us luck. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we are done with the old movie now. I'd say okay. All right, so keep in mind. All right, let me let me be completely honest with you I think this is the third time I've ever been to a movie theater All right, the first one that I watched was Megan the second one that I watched was the bat or the, the Deadpool and Wolverine movie And then obviously this one the most recent one, right? Like I mentioned earlier I watched the smile like the original smile movie like a couple days ago or a few days ago and that one was pretty good I think genuinely this one was pretty good, too. It was a very interesting just an interesting watch, right? So, like I said, this is my third time being in a movie theater, and, you know, if I'm honest with you guys, I don't really watch movies like that, right? So, uh, don't trust my, uh, so don't trust my opinion too much as just, like, a very, very, very average consumer. I enjoyed it. I, I did enjoy it. The plot was a little bit more different. It was a little bit different than the, than the first movie. The end had a little bit of similarity, but it wasn't too similar, right? It was a completely different concept, pretty much. As someone that can, like, predict jump scares really well, to me, the jump scares weren't too predictable. I will say something about it, though. The, the, the jump scares were very creative. One similarity, I guess, it's just a little small similarity. For those of you that watch scary movies and stuff, uh, the first human centipede was pretty much like a it was you know the, the, the amount of characters were very minimal But as the series went on there, you know, there, there was more people involved all the way up to like uh, Was it the third one? I believe it was the third one where uh, it was in a prison yard, right? And there was a lot of people involved in the human centipede a little bit similar to this one where from the last one this one had more um, people involved all I'm saying is that you know in, in the scary part I guess uh, there was a lot more people I don't know. I'm probably just talking out of my ass
here since I'm a little bit tipsy. I'm still a little bit tipsy, but and I could be making not much sense. Uh, it, I understand, but coming from someone that uh, you know enjoys movies very, very, very casually and not too often. I enjoyed it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will also say there was there's a lot of plot twists. Or sorry, there's a lot of like switch ups. You know what I mean? Like you think this is happening, but in reality this is happening. And then like there's a lot of there's a lot of switch ups and stuff, and it keeps you on your toes, right? For me, like I said, I, I you know I can predict jump scares pretty well. The stuff that they did in this movie. Uh, you know, outside of jump scares, there was a lot of twists and it made it very unpredictable. So that's one thing I can definitely appreciate about the movie, all right? Now I guess to go a little bit further, right? Which one do I like more? The first one or the second one? I'd have to think about it. I, I'd have to think about it tomorrow or something because I, uh, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to think right now properly because, you know, I might have an answer for you guys tomorrow, all right? We are almost home. I'm going to make a pit stop to McDonald's. <laughs> I think we can wrap up the video now. Um, overall, 8 out of 10. I don't really know how to rate movies since, I, like I said, you know, I don't really watch movies like that. But, you know, if I could rate it from my personal experience, 8 out of 10, man. Not, not too shabby. Could be 9. I think I, I enjoyed it. So, if you want to have a fun little scare and you and, and, and if you enjoyed the first uh, Smile movie, I think you'd enjoy this one. So, hey, check it out. Go to your local theater and uh, have a good time, man. Hope you guys have a good night, too. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys as always. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Uh, no, turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key, and my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.